Good evening, everyone. My name is Jerry D'Ambrosio, Manager of Educational Content here at VectorVest, and it's my pleasure to present this week's special presentation, How to Trade Like the Pros. What I want to do is first start off by letting you know what you're going to learn here today. First, we're going to talk about five common principles professional traders follow, an extremely easy and effective short-term trading strategy, and how to quickly and easily identify the best trades. So what makes a professional trader a professional trader? What are the qualities that separates these guys and gals from the average retail investor? And this section is all about getting your mind right. This isn't your buy and hold retirement approach. This is for the capital you have set aside to trade a little bit more actively. And we feel every investor should do that. First, they're realistic. They know that there's no magic pill that they can take that will make them better traders overnight. Success in this industry, in any industry, comes with time and effort. Just ask anyone who's ever been really good at anything, and they'll tell you that it took hard work and it didn't happen overnight. Next is that they control their emotions. They don't allow losing trades to affect them. Pros don't think of the money first. They focus on doing the right things and making the right trades. They know if they do that, the money will follow. And one of the reasons they feel this way is because they place trades based on facts and data rather than gut feelings. Now we've all been there. We've all placed a trade or two just because we knew it was going to go up, right? We had a feeling. Well, pros don't think that way. They look solely at the information in front of them to make decisions. They're prepared. They know exactly when they're going to get out of a trade even before getting in. They've examined and tested different techniques to figure out which one is best. And lastly, and most importantly, I think, professional traders are disciplined. They stay sharp and focused when things are going well and resilient when they're not. So they have a plan and they stick to it. And if done the right way, you'll know exactly what you're doing, no matter the situation. Just think of the confidence that you'll have. And once you start developing better habits, you'll start to see more consistent gains. So there's a big mistake traders make when first starting to implement short-term trading systems. They follow unproven, complicated strategies. They think that they need to use five different technical indicators and three different types of moving averages to help identify entries and exits. For some reason, new traders who are just starting out trading this way find value in complexity. Most times, that only leads to confusion and ultimately frustration. What I want to show you is what's called the RSI2 trading system. It was developed by Larry Connors. Larry Connors is an author and trader who has over 30 years in the financial markets industry. This strategy focuses on stocks in long-term uptrends, but are experiencing short-term corrections. And what I love about this system is that it's so simple. It uses three indicators, a 200-day moving average to identify the long-term trend, and a five-day simple moving average and relative strength index for the short-term trend. Let me show you how the strategy works. Now here we're looking at Autodesk from August of 2016 to August of 2017. Now don't worry about the time frame here. It's the technique that's important. I'll explain the time frame here in a little bit. Autodesk has been a great stock. Overall price moves from bottom left to upper right. But there have been times where the stock pulls back. It stays above the 200-day moving average, but falls below the 5-day moving average. Long-term uptrend, short-term correction. Relative strength index is at the bottom of the chart, and it's scaled between 0 and 100. And the industry standard look-back period is 14, with the extreme levels at 30 and at 70. Extremely oversold level at 30, extremely overbought level at 70. And you can plot this on any chart over time showing the RSI movement. Now using the industry standard settings, you can see that the RSI fell below 30 only a few times here over this two year period. Now don't get me wrong, those would have been great buying opportunities, but it didn't give us a lot of signals. What Mr. Connors does is he speeds up the indicator and changes the look back period to two. 
When you do that, you have to adjust your extreme levels. So along with the price of the stock above the 200-day moving average, but below the five-day moving average, and the two-period RSI below 10, there's your setup. A setup is when specific conditions are met that tell you to get ready to enter the trade. So again, price above the 200-day moving average, but below the five-day moving average, and the two-period RSI below 10. Let's look at what this trading plan looks like written down. Our entry rules are that we're going to buy only when the price of the stock is above the 200-day simple moving average and below the 5-day simple moving average with the two-period RSI below 10. And this is important. We are entering near the close of the day. Our exit criteria is we are going to exit when the price goes above the 5-day simple moving average and we are exiting near the close of the day as well. So let's take a look at some examples. I've zoomed in here to the beginning of October of 2016 and on October 11th of 16 we have our first setup. Price of the stock is above the 200 day moving average. I know we can't see the 200 day moving average because we're zoomed in here a bit but remember from a few charts ago that the price of the stock had been above the 200 day moving average the entire time. So price is above the 200-day moving average, but below the 5-day moving average and the 2-period RSI below 10, so we are to enter near the close of the session. Remember, this is a filled candle, so the close is at the bottom of the body. And we are to enter roughly at $70.17. That was the close of this day. So if we enter near the close of the day there, we are going to exit at $70.13 when the price of the stock as we could see is about to close above the five-day simple moving average. Now this is a losing trade as you can see. Larry Connors with this trading system does not use stop losses. He only exits positions whether it be at a gain or a loss when the price of the stock is about to close above the five-day moving average. So this is a losing trade. A few days later, we have another setup. On October 13, 2016, the price of the stock is still above the 200-day moving average, but below the 5-day moving average, and the two-period RSI is below 10. Now, I'm not saying that you're going to buy more of the stock if you happen to buy it on October 11th. Let's just say on October 11th of 16, you were sick, or you were on vacation, and you weren't able to watch the market. But you were feeling better, or you returned from vacation on October 13th, and you saw that Autodesk set up again, so you're able to buy the stock on that day. We buy it at $69.29, we sell it at $70.13 because it's about to close above the five-day simple moving average. That's a winning trade. And I'm simply moving from left to right here. I'm not cherry-picking dates. I'm going to show you every setup that occurred with this stock from October of 2016. On this day, November 2nd of 16, we enter near the close of the day at 68.68 because the price of the stock is above the 200-day moving average, but below the 5-day moving average, and the two-period RSI below 10. And we exit three days later at $72 because the price of the stock, as you can see, closes above the 5-day moving average, and we are exiting near the close of that session. The very next day we have another setup, and again, not that you're going to buy more of the stock, but if you didn't buy it the previous day, you had an opportunity to buy it on November 3rd of 16. You buy it at 67.61, roughly, because the price is above the 200-day moving average, but below the 5-day moving average and the 2-period RSI below 10. We sell it $72 because it's about to close above the 5-day simple moving average. Now we could see the day before, during the session, price rose above the five-day moving average but closed below it, resulting in us staying in this trade. Moving from left to right, November 30th of 16, price is still above the 200-day moving average but below the five-day moving average and the two-period RSI below 10. We sell it all the way up here at 76.32 because the price closes above the five-day moving average. The next day we have another setup if you didn't buy it the day before. We buy it at $69.22. We sell it at $76.32. So 
So, so far we have one loss. The first trade I showed you was a loss, but we've had winners ever since. December 22nd of 16, we have another setup. Now, the day before, price was below the five day. The day before it was below the five day. The day before it was below the five day. But those didn't constitute setups because the two period RSI was not below 10. It dipped below 10 on December 22nd of 16. Price of the stock remained below the five day moving average, but still above the 200 day moving average. So we buy at 74.58. We sell the very next day at $76 when it's about to close above the five day moving average. We have another setup a few days later. Price is below the five day simple moving average. Two period RSI dips back below 10. We buy it at 74.58. We sell it the very next day at 76.18 when it's about to close above the five day moving average. The next setup after that wasn't until March 6th of 17. We buy near the close of that day at 82.94 because the price is still above the 200 day moving average. The stock is still in a long term uptrend but it's experiencing a short-term correction with it being below the five-day moving average. And we could see the two-period RSI was below 10 on that day. So we buy at roughly 82.94 near the close of that day, and we sell it three days later at 84.24. Now, I told you there was a reason why I went all the way back to October of 16. Because we had about seven or eight winners and one loser over that time period. Well, I decided to come all the way to current. And from October of 16 to current, there were 110 RSI 2 setups. We know what an RSI 2 setup is now. Price is above the 200 day moving average, but below the five day moving average and the two period RSI below 10, we enter near the close. That's a setup. There were 110 of those from October of 16 to current. There were 82 winning trades and 28 losing trades. That's a 75% winning trade percentage. Now you're probably thinking, well, Jerry, you cherry picked that stock. And the answer is I did. I did cherry pick that stock because it's a great stock. However, I did a little bit more research. As of March 1st of 2019, here are the top five VST stocks in the S&P 500. These are not cherry picked stocks. These are the top five ranked by our VST indicator in the S&P 500. Over the last one year, across all five stocks, there were 86 RSI 2 setups. 60 winning trades, 26 losing trades. That's a 70% winning trade percentage. Now, you may be thinking, wow, this is fantastic. I love this, but I don't have time to look at graph after graph after graph each day to identify this setup. If I'm supposed to enter near the close with this trading system, I would have to spend a lot of time finding a handful of candidates, right? Wrong. What I'm about to tell you eliminates all of that time. No matter what we teach you here at VectorVest, we want you to be able to do it faster, smarter, and better. That's why we put together the six-week webcast series where we teach you techniques from three of the very best professional traders in the industry today. You'll learn top trading strategies of the pros and how to quickly and easily identify the best trades. I hope you saw that if you learn to implement strategies like the one I showed you today, you will achieve the success you're looking for. This is Hugh. Hugh is a graduate of our last Trade Like a Pro workshop. He sent me an email and he said, I'm a retired financial services executive, so I had to unlearn what the quote, street teaches to start making money. Before taking the Trade Like a Pro course, I found it was difficult to stick with a system since there were too many variables. I can never achieve the short-term trading success I sought. After taking the course, I began to see results right away. I now have a successful approach and I am much more disciplined with my trading. Let's talk a little bit about what you're going to learn here over the course of six weeks. Module number one is all about getting in the correct mindset. We're going to talk more about how pros think. We'll talk about managing risk, and a very important section in this module is about order entry. In module two, we teach you a number of different bullish and bearish candlestick reversal signals, which help identify changes in market sentiment. We'll teach you how to recognize and take advantage of turning points, the correct indicator to use for both bullish and bearish patterns, 
and then how to know that you're in the right trade. Module 3 is called Gaining the Trader's Edge. Now, you guys know there are different markets. There are trending markets, there are traders markets, there are markets that hit extreme levels. Well, we're going to teach you the ideal technical analysis indicator to use for each of those market situations. Module number four, we introduce our first professional trader. Her name is Linda Ratchke, and we teach you a strategy that she's developed called the Holy Grail for both bullish and bearish markets. Module five is Charles Schapp. He has developed two trading systems, one called the 50-50 strategy and the other called AD Excellence. And the highlight of the course, in my opinion, is Module 6, where we teach you the RSI 2 trading system again, and another system that he's created exclusively for ETFs called the RSI 25 strategy. Now this portfolio that you see here is a trading system centering around the RSI 2 system that I just taught you. From February 8th of 2010 all the way to current, this trading system is up 549%. And this is not a typo at the top. There were 181 winning trades and nine losing trades. And the vector vest composite over the same time period is up 107%. So this trading system outperformed the market by more than 400%. We absolutely love the performance and we're so impressed with that trading system. And the long-term performance of it, we decided to put real money to it. And we did so on October 11th of 2017. This is a real money portfolio trading that RSI 2 system that I just showed you in that long term graph. And this is up 24% since October 11th of 17. Now, it struggled quite a bit at the end of 2018. But what I didn't do is I didn't throw in the towel. I didn't go to cash just because the portfolio was pulling down. I followed the rules as they were laid out in the longer term test that we had conducted and it's recovered nicely. It's up 24% to date with 86% winning trades, 39 winners and six losers. The market over that same time period, October 11th of 17 all the way to current is only up about 3%. Most importantly, you get hands-on training by both myself and Steve Chappell, who is the director of trading systems development. And both Steve and I will be manning the chat rooms so you can ask us questions throughout the course. Now this course is valued at $29.95, but if you register now for the early bird rate of $24.95, and that rate is still available until March 15th. As an added bonus, you'll get six live mastery support sessions. These are designed to help you actually implement what you've learned in the course. We'll take a look at the things you're doing, the questions you have, and guide you. You will be given a homework assignment after each module and we'll go over that homework assignment here at the mastery sessions. We'll be there to guide you through this entire process. Also, by registering today, you'll receive one extra bonus session after the official course ends. This bonus session will be a live trading session where we will implement what we've learned over the course of the six weeks. I'm also going to show you how you can use RoboTrader to manage your trades. And I will be trading with real money and stepping you through everything from market analysis to trade setup and execution. And this is huge too. Exclusively for workshop attendees, you will receive pre-built searches that make finding your trades a breeze. You were probably thinking, well, great, you'll teach us the techniques, but how on earth will we find the stocks to actually trade? Well, the legwork has already been done for you. I built these scans to quickly and easily find the best candidates to trade and they will be inserted into your VectorVest 7 programs so you don't have to build them yourselves. Here are the dates for the live modules. We start pretty soon on March 19th. Each module will be on a Tuesday at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time, and the live mastery support sessions will be on Friday, except for the fifth mastery support session because the 19th is Good Friday, so the Module 5's mastery support session will be on the 18th, and each mastery support session will start at 2 p.m. Folks, this is also 100% money back guaranteed. After the six weeks, if you've taken all the modules and all the mastery sessions and done all the homework and you still feel that there aren't trading systems here that you can work with, 
we'll absolutely give you your money back. So go to that site at the bottom, www.vectorvest.com slash TLP to register. Again, the early bird rate is still available until March 15th. I look forward to working with each and every one of you folks. So you have a great evening, and we'll talk to you soon.